How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about a top aide to New York Governor Andrew Cuomo admitting that they were hiding a lot of these virus numbers coming from the nursing home to avoid a federal investigation. Oh yeah, they admitted it, and I'll place my sources in the description box below. I don't have the audio or video, but I got plenty of sources. From CNN to Fox News to independent sources, this is a real thing that is being reported right now. So the question is, why would they do this? Okay, why are you trying to avoid a federal investigation? What do you have to really hide? Well, obviously, you're not trying to show how many people die in a nursing home. You're not trying to show the level of your incompetence. Let's go back a little bit to last year when the virus first popped in New York City. New York, the, the tri-state area, was the epicenter of the virus, and it probably still is. You probably still have more deaths per capita in that particular area than anywhere else in the country, all right? If you saw a map of all the virus deaths, the, the most dense area of the deaths would be right there in New York City, Connecticut, Jersey, the surrounding area. It was real bad. I'm talking about terrible. I'm not really sure why, aside from the nursing home thing, we'll get to that in a minute, Maybe it's to pack quarters. Everybody's living in these tall buildings where it's one entrance, one exit, or maybe two entrances, two exits. Everybody touching the same buttons on the elevator, the same doorknob on the door. I'm not really sure. Maybe it's to share uh, HVAC systems. I don't really know. But whatever the case may be, New York City was like the hub of all these virus deaths, right? And the nursing homes are the main culprit here. I think I read somewhere where they said 70% of virus deaths in New York City were from nursing homes or and or from those 70 years old and above. OK, what Cuomo did with the nursing homes was disastrous. I'm not sure if it's a jillable offense, but there needs to be an investigation, which is what they were trying to avoid. But now they can't avoid it because that's already off the bag. Now, we know that he was doing something he shouldn't have been doing with the nursing homes. The nurse aide and already not the nurse aide, the aide to Cuomo came out and said that they were trying to hide the numbers. And then you have the New York Attorney General, Letitia James, who was a big time never Trumper or Trump hater, trying to sue Beverly and Betty for the whole Black Lives Matter kerfuffle. She even came out and said that the deaths in the nursing homes were underreported by up to 50 percent. So you're talking about. Half of the deaths not even reported as deaths from the virus in the nursing homes. You're trying to hide the information and Cuomo's behind all of it. Now, at the time when the whole thing about, you know, the nursing homes became an issue last year, when every, you know, all these people kept dying in the nursing homes, he defended what was happening by saying, well, we're just following the Trump directive to put virus positive patients in a nursing home. Now, I'm not really sure what Trump directive that was to say, hey, if people have the virus and they're kind of OK, stick them in a nursing home. I, I've not seen that one. If you've seen that one, let me know where I can find that in the comments below. What I do know is that Trump sent a whole um, hospital ship, the USS Comfort. I think it had what, like eight to nine thousand beds on it as far as the capacity. But only 20 patients ever got on it from New York City. They didn't use it. But the hospitals were allegedly packed from the middle to the tutor with virus patients. Nursing homes packed with people that had the virus or had it before and were quote unquote recovering when they could have been put on the boat. That's what it was there for. It was equipped for that purpose. You got it fully staffed. You got, uh, you know, clean areas. You got everything you need. You got treatments on board. Everything you need is right there on the boat, but they never used it. OK, it pulls up in. Uh, you know, the Hudson or whatever that bay is right there, right on Manhattan, and they never used it. So it's like, OK, you want to avoid a federal investigation. You, you're you talking about, oh, Trump is going to use it against you. He's trying to talk about how the virus is emanating from Democratic states. But when it gives you what you need to help combat the virus, you're not even using it. So what are we really doing? What I see from all of this, what's happening with Cuomo and the aid and their attorney general, I'm just seeing incompetence, okay? Pure incompetence. And exactly what they were trying to hide the data for, trying to prevent Trump from saying, hey, it's Democrat states that are spreading the virus. That exact thing appears to be true, okay? Like I said, the epicenter of the virus was New York City, tri-state area, Connecticut, Jersey, all right? That's all Democrat run. 
And due to California, you got some of the most tight mask restrictions yet, some of the highest uh, virus numbers. Now you go to Florida where there's no mask mandate, everything's pretty much open, and you have New Yorkers and Californians moving down there to escape the very tyrannical restrictions on the mask and closing of the business and indoor dining. They're not having this, you know, crazy virus outbreak. We need to go and do the Sweden model. You know, I think Trump said it wasn't really a good idea, but I disagree with him on that. I think the Sweden model was probably the best way. All right. Now, the economics of whatnot, that's a different story. I'm talking about just how to handle the virus. They had minimal restrictions. You know, they, they would advise you, hey, if you want to wear a mask, that's fine. You can do that. You can social distance. But there was no just massive shutdown and, you know, killing their economy. They did have some deaths from the virus, but that's not going to be avoidable. All right. You see what's going on where you got all these mask mandates and everybody's at home. Nobody's leaving. People still getting the virus and dying. People were dying at home, locked up with a mask on in New York City from the virus. So at a certain point, you can't escape it. All you could do is things to mitigate your chances of catching it and dying. Proper health, diet, exercise, proper therapeutics, hydroxychloroquine. And you know what? I'll talk about that right quick. Hydroxychloroquine. I did a video that went viral on the Internet, on Facebook especially. It had like a million Facebook likes on the actual article itself talking about HCQ from the doctor's perspective, not from my opinion, my point of view, but from actual medical doctors that have used hydroxychloroquine with success. Right now, they went ahead and, you know, destroyed my Facebook page over the whole thing. Oh, you spread misinformation. This is not proven to work. But now there's study after study after study that says that it does work. So if the political stuff wasn't put on hydroxychloroquine to try and attack Trump, if the aid for Cuomo was not trying to, you know, hide things from Trump and was being open, maybe you could save some lives. OK, rather than playing politics and trying to, you know, play 8D, 12D chess with Trump. How about you just do the right thing? How about you be honest? How about you just stop lying to the people and you could save some lives? What we're seeing right here is exactly what we've been talking about for a while. All right, they're playing games and not being honest, and it's causing a lot of death and chaos and destruction. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? Do you think that the aid to Cuomo was intentionally hiding stuff from Trump to deceive the American people, to deceive Trump? Uh, is it a criminal thing? Because this could be, you know, a, a serious situation. Somebody could go to jail behind this. Should it be Cuomo? Should it be the aid? How about the USS Comfort? They had the whole hospital ship. Why was that not used? Were they trying to just book against Trump and say, hey, we're not going to use anything Trump gave, orange man bad. So we're going to be so anti-Trump, so never Trump, we're not even going to use what he gives us. Hopefully that's not what's going on. If that's your viewpoint, let me know why in the comments below. Uh, you guys pretty much know where I'm at. I'm not surprised one bit by this revelation, by this news of the aid talking about they underreported the virus deaths in nursing homes to prevent from being looked at by the Trump administration. OK, they're coming out with it now. I guess it cats out the bag. They want Biden to look into it and exonerate them because, you know, they probably talk to him and say, hey, you know, it was a mistake. Our fault. Give us, a, you know, a, a clean slate, clean bill of health. No pun intended. And, you know, we, we'd appreciate you if you did that because that I just don't call Trump. But all this dunking on Trump and playing politics is not going to bring back anyone that died unnecessarily. OK, we got to stop playing games with this. We know that hydroxychloroquine works. We know that the mask and the shutdowns don't work. Let's get to what works. Let's get to the things that will actually help American people and the whole world, for that matter, because if we're suffering, the whole world is suffering. Let's get the things that actually help us. Rather than trying to hide things away, rather than trying to lie, rather than trying to play politics with life and death. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.